For more than a decade, we have been optimizing the designs for what we call a willow feeder. When contemplating solutions for river and ocean pollution, I'm taking a good hard look at sewage treatment plants. A lot of the alternatives are pretty good, but have been outlawed in several states and counties. I want to come up with something so good that it is clearly better than a sewage treatment plant and better than any of the alternatives. So good that lawmakers will not only make willow feeders legal, but will reward willow feeders. The conventional approach mixes everything together and relies on sewage treatment plants to sort it out poorly. The most toxic stuff gets dumped in the river. Most of this stuff has great value if we don't mix it with toxic gick. Let's start with a strategy to unmix it. Garbage gets screened out at the sewage treatment plant and hauled to the dump. Only now, that garbage has been made super gross by all the sewage. If we just put that same stuff into a garbage can at home, it won't be nearly as gross. Pea and water can go immediately to gardens, and a mulch pit can take up these nutrients year-round. Harsh cleaners can be replaced with gray water-friendly options. So now, most plumbing could possibly be redirected to the same mulch pit that the pea and water go to. All that is left now is poop. And that is where the willow feeder turns out to be a glorious superhero. Our tests have shown it takes us about four months to fill a can with quite a few people. We cover the contents with sawdust and store it for two years to eliminate pathogens. In the spring, we feed it to a willow tree. River and ocean pollution is replaced with giant willow trees. 14 years of design optimizations has created something clearly better than conventional solutions or the alternatives. While there's room for further optimization, it is now time to share what we learned.